excited to come and see the Krabby Hot Springs or stream or... Waterfall, whatever. It depends <laughs> what sign you read. It is all the same thing, but there's like hot streams, hot spas, hot pools. So we're calling them the hot springs. Yeah. So we've come here now and the journey was a lot longer than what we were expecting. We've come from Anong and it actually took us like around an hour and a half, which was a big drive, a big, big drive to be honest. We took our own scooter that we rented and the drive was massive. But we're here now and we just paid in and it was actually 200 baht each. So we've actually waited until the evening time to come. It is now like nearly five o'clock I think. So we're hopefully gonna spend the whole evening chilling in the hot springs, having a lovely relaxing time with some nice warm water and just taking it easy. Can't wait. Whenever we first came down and like seen the pools here, we were a wee bit kind of like raging because they're proper like small, there's not too many of them and they're all in like a wee cluster in a corner and there was quite a few people in them too. So we were kind of like, could we actually drive all this way and pay the money in for like that? But once you get in, the water is amazing. It is so, so warm. It feels like you're in a proper spa. You're in the middle of like a jungle as well and the noise of the water is just so nice. Can't complain, it's so relaxing. <laughs> I fully understand why I said online to come either really early in the morning or late in the evening because there's not very much space here, but everyone is leaving and I feel like we're gonna have this as a private pool in no time. just had entry to one of the most expensive spas ever. This is amazing. <laughs> put this into words I am drained but that was amazing <sighs> the water is a temperature beyond even words it is so hot we came out of the actual hot stream and made our way over to the pools that are over here and oh my god so hot so hot so before you like actually get to the streams there's a couple of like man-made looking spa pools and we walk straight past and we're like not even gonna bother getting into them we want to go like the natural one turns out the water running into the, the spa pools here, like the man-made ones, is actually the water running from the natural hot springs as well. But somehow the water's hotter. And as you go along the pools here, the water actually gets hotter as well. We were in a small one up at the top here. The last pool on the very end. Oh You talk about God. heat. There was another man, a local boy that we were chatting to, and I was asking him the temperature of it. And he said the temperature of the day was about 50 degrees Celsius. And I literally got in for, I would say, 10 seconds and had to get back out. And I was red hot whenever I got back out. It was a scorcher. All I'm thinking is, like, if you came here during the day in, like, peak heat as well as this, yeah. I, I don't think I could be, I would be able to do it. Okay, we have just grabbed a quick shower and got changed. And we have finished in the hot springs and headed out. But what an experience and what an evening. I feel absolutely drained, but completely re relaxed at the exact same time. <laughs> Both of us are even like struggling to speak at this yeah. stage and we don't know how we're gonna do another like hour and a half ride home. We spent two hours in there in total and I don't think we could have possibly done any more. No. We needed more, mo more water, we needed more food, but 
So it's like after seven o'clock at the minute, it is pitch black pretty much now. We're standing underneath like, underneath like a big floodlight now trying to get a light. But the plan now is we're gonna head to Crabby Town and we're gonna go to the night market there. So that's about an hour's drive. We're gonna go there, get some food, have a wee bit of a chill and a wee bit of an explore around there, if we have the energy that is, and then head another half an hour back to Anong where we're staying and call it a night there.